Welcome back beauties. Today's topic is one that we're all interested in. Etiquette. I've talked a lot about looking elegant and expensive on my channel, but without manners, you can't truly embody that. Now you might wonder why etiquette is such a big deal. Well, etiquette and manners are more than just knowing when to say please and thank you. It's about making those around us feel respected and comfortable. It's about creating a positive atmosphere, whether you're at a business meeting, a dinner party, or just hanging out with friends. Good manners can open doors in ways you might not expect. They can create opportunities, both in your personal and professional life. They can make your social interactions smoother, more enjoyable, and less stressful. Now, let's delve into the top 11 etiquette rules every woman should know. First things first, introductions are crucial. They set the tone and give others an initial glimpse of who you are. A good introduction is more than just a simple hello. It's a chance to leave a lasting impression. When introducing yourself, stand tall, make eye contact, and offer a firm but gentle handshake. Your name should follow a friendly hello or nice to meet you. And remember, people love hearing their own names, so make a point to use theirs when you're speaking to them. Introducing others is just as important. Start with the person of higher rank or age, regardless of gender. Say their name followed by, I'd like you to meet, and then the other person's name. And don't forget the power of a smile. It's a universal sign of friendliness that can light up any introduction. Remember, a good introduction is a stepping stone to a great conversation. Tip 2. The Grace of Gratitude This is one of the most fundamental pillars of etiquette, and yet it's an art that many of us often overlook. Saying thank you is more than just a polite formality, it's a powerful expression of appreciation that acknowledges the effort and kindness of others. Each time we say thank you, we're not only recognizing the value of what we've received, but also the value of the person who gave it. Expressing gratitude strengthens our relationships, fosters mutual respect, and creates a positive atmosphere that encourages more acts of kindness. In fact, when we express gratitude consistently, we're essentially cultivating a habit of positivity that can greatly enhance our overall well-being and happiness. So, let's not underestimate the power of those two little words. A simple thank you can go a long way, beauties. Tip 3. Moving on to the dining table. Ah, the elegance of dining. A ballet of decorum, where every movement is a symbol of respect. It begins with understanding the cutlery. The rule of thumb is to use them from the outside in. Start with the outermost fork for your salad, then progress inward for the main course and dessert. Consider your behavior at the table as a reflection of your respect for those around you. Remember, conversation is the main course, not the food. Keep it light, engaging, and mindful of others. And when it comes to handling different types of food, a little knowledge goes a long way. For instance, soup should be scooped away from you, bread is broken by hand, not cut and the olive pit, simply ease it onto your spoon, then place it on the side of your plate. Dining etiquette is about making the meal enjoyable for everyone. Tip 4. Let's talk about communication. As social creatures, we exchange thoughts, ideas, feelings, and so much more through our words. But communication isn't all about speaking. In fact, it's largely about listening. Active listening shows respect, understanding and interest in what the other person is saying. It's about giving them your full attention, not just waiting for your turn to speak. Conversations should be a two-way street. Avoid interrupting, even if you're bursting with something to say. Hold that thought and wait for the right moment. And when you do speak, do so with respect. Express your opinions clearly, but always be mindful of the other person's feelings and perspectives. Communication is a dance, where each participant takes turns leading and following. It's not about winning or losing, but about creating a connection. Remember, good communication is about understanding and being understood. Tip 5. Let's talk about the discretion of makeup and hair touch-ups. We all want to look our best, but it's essential to be mindful of when and where we refresh our look. It's best to do makeup touch-ups in the restroom, not in public. This keeps the focus on the conversation and the experience, not on our personal grooming routines. Similarly, hair touch-ups should also be done discreetly and in private. 
combing, adjusting or fixing your hair in public can be distracting to others and may even come off as unprofessional in certain settings. Maintaining this discretion shows respect for others and keeps the focus on the interactions, not distractions. Remember, beauties, discretion is the better part of beauty maintenance. If you find this video helpful, then please like and subscribe for more content like this, so you never miss another tip to become the best version of yourself. L. Tip 6. The Sophistication of Dressing This isn't about the most expensive brands or the latest trends, but rather about choosing clothes that are comfortable, stylish, and appropriate for the occasion. The clothes we wear are a form of self-expression, a visual manifestation of our personality. When attending a formal event, a well-tailored dress or suit can speak volumes about your respect for the occasion. On casual days, a relaxed ensemble can still be chic and presentable. Remember, the key is balance. Dressing appropriately also means being mindful of the context. For instance, a neon crop top might be perfect for a music festival, but it's likely not the best choice for a business meeting. Your wardrobe is a dialogue between you and the world around you. It's about expressing yourself confidently and comfortably, while respecting the norms and standards of the places you go. Remember, your outfit is a reflection of your personality. Tip 7. Let's dive into punctuality. This trait is crucial as it respects our own and others' time. Late arrivals can be seen as disrespect. To avoid this, cultivate a habit of being early, allow for unexpected delays, aim to be five minutes early for appointments. If late, inform the other party ASAP. Punctuality isn't just about timeliness, it's about respect for others' time and commitments. Tip 8. Let's talk about personal space that invisible boundary we consider our own. Respecting this space is key for positive human interaction. It's usual to maintain arm's length distance during conversations, ensuring comfort and avoiding intrusion. In crowded public spaces, strive to be mindful and avoid unnecessary contact. Apologize if you bump into someone accidentally. It's important to remember personal space varies across cultures, requiring awareness and respect for these differences. Respecting personal space signifies empathy and respect for others. Tip 9. We glide into the realm of public behavior. How we conduct ourselves in public settings speaks volumes about our character and upbringing. A woman of elegance behaves gracefully and respectfully, no matter where she is. This includes being polite to those around her, considerate of the situations she's in, and mindful of the people she interacts with. She listens attentively, speaks thoughtfully, and carries herself with dignity. She understands that her actions and words can impact others and makes conscious efforts to leave positive impressions. Whether she's in a crowded subway or a quiet library, her respect for the space and the people within it never wavers. Remember, your public behavior is a reflection of your inner elegance. It's not just about looking the part, but acting it as well. In the next scene, we'll explore the charm of compliments. Tip 10. The charm of compliments. This simple yet powerful tool can uplift spirits, boost confidence, and radiate positivity. A woman of elegance knows the value of kind words and isn't stingy with them. However, she also understands the importance of sincerity. A compliment, to truly touch hearts, must be genuine and well-timed. It's not just about saying nice things, but about appreciating and acknowledging the good in others. Also, receiving compliments with grace is equally important. Accept them with a smile and a thoughtful, thank you. Remember, a well-timed compliment can brighten someone's day and leave lasting impressions. In the next scene, we'll explore the elegance of posture and gestures. Finally, tip 11. Let's talk about the elegance of posture and gestures. Much like the words we speak, the way we carry ourselves sends a message to the world about who we are. A good posture, whether standing or sitting, exudes confidence and grace. When seated, remember to keep your back straight and cross at the ankles, not the knees. It's not just about looking elegant, but also about maintaining a healthy spine. Now, let's talk about gestures. They're the silent language that accompanies our words, accentuating our emotions, intentions and thoughts. But remember, like any language, it needs to be used effectively and appropriately. Excessive or inappropriate gestures can distract and confuse, so use your hands to enhance your words, 
not overshadow them. In conclusion, your posture and gestures speak volumes about your elegance. They're an integral part of your personal brand, your silent yet powerful communication with the world. So stand tall, sit gracefully, and gesture wisely. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We've discussed etiquette's importance in introductions, gratitude, dining, dressing, time management, communication, personal appearance, personal space, and compliments. Compliments. Etiquette is about respect and leaving a lasting impression. It ensures others feel comfortable around us. So whether at a formal dinner or with friends, remember these etiquette rules. And that wraps up our video today, beauties. If you found valuable, hit the like like button, share with friends, and subscribe for more etiquette tips. Stay classy, beauties.